And this morning, let's begin by getting you all of uh, the images and videos that are emerging from Ukraine, most telling really of the scale of destruction that's been reported right now in Ukraine. As Russia continues to attack cities of Ukraine, 150 orphan children, mostly babies and toddlers from Lviv, arrived uh, at uh, a train station in Poland. Volunteers and police officers are seen giving soft toys to kids as they were carried from the station and loaded onto buses. Lots of kids were like very small. As Ukraine fiercely continues to battle Russian forces amid war, this video that you see on your screens here shows Ukrainian servicemen inspecting a charred Russian tank in the Sumy region of Ukraine. Ukrainians have been putting up a fight back like no other. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is earning praise from everyone for emerging to be so strong and brave amid the crisis in his homeland. What you see on your screens is a picture of Zelensky with sandbags behind him in the capital city as Russian troops continue to advance towards Kiev. He is reiterating that he is not going anywhere. Civilians continue to flee Ukraine amid Russian invasion. Hundreds of Ukrainian refugees arrived by ferry at Romania's port of Isechia on the river of Danube, wrapped in winter coats and carrying suitcases. Fleeing families stopped over in this port city to continue the journey through Europe in search of refuge. Amid international pressure for companies to sever ties uh, with Russia, energy giant Shell has declared that it will stop buying Russian oil and natural gas from the country and shut down all its service stations, aviation fuels and other operations in the country. The casualty count in this war is continuing to climb up. What you see on your screens is a funeral ceremony held in the city of Kiev for a Ukrainian soldier who was killed fighting the Russians. In the face of possible Russian assaults, members of the Territorial Defense Unit are on guard, barricaded the National Opera House in Ukraine's south port city of Odessa. Sandbags, anti-tank hedgehogs were all put up. With fighting around many of Ukraine's main cities intensifying, Irpin residents left to the frontline Kiev suburb that's been on target under heavy bombardment, crying uncontrollably. What you see on your screens is that tragically is a baby boy upset as his police officer father says goodbye to him in the Ukrainian town of Irpin. Such heartbreaking images that have been emerging in the course of this war. <laughs> Let's do the most of the business of the